How good is Chan Lan? In terms of just DPS output, he's the literal definition of power creep. Like, A0 is comparable to A6 Crow and Severe. Let's dig right into the comparisons. The current optimal vote team contains Nemesis, Lin, and 1 DPS. Either Crow, Samir, or Tian. Here's a table to compare the total team damage of a varied advancement of Tian Lan versus A6 Crow or Samir. As you can see, Tian Lan eclipses the damage of both A6 Samir and A6 Crow, even at A0. And yes, this does take into account base weapon stat differences, Crow crit bonuses benefiting Lin Knight Blooms, as well as Samir A1 getting procced by Lin. These numbers don't have matrices in play, but even if you put a 3 star 4 piece Samir on, the total damage of a Samir comp is still less than that of a Tian Lan comp, where Tian Lan only has a 2 piece Samir matrix. I know it sounds crazy, so Let's look into Tian's numbers to get an understanding of where this comes from. Tian's dodge spam clocks in at roughly 326% per second. However, spamming the dodge is not ideal. A charged dodge would deal bonus damage proportional to your lost HP as well as electrifying entities, which you can have up to 3 of. With the base parameters of 15k attack, 750k HP, and an average of 25% health remaining, the DPS of a charge dodge turns out to be almost triple the starting value. But for A3, charges are gained through basic attacking on Tian, one charge per four hits. The most practical attack to spam is his falling attack, Vera. While it only deals 2 hits of damage, the base damage of this skill is fairly high, making it the most efficient to use, only falling behind the aerial combo, which, while it's technically slightly stronger, can be unreasonable to pull off without making yourself extremely vulnerable. Without even taking into account any of Tian's bonus damage, his basic attack damage pretty much matches up with Samir's helicopter. When you add in his bonus charge dodge damage, as well as the huge 400% bonus damage on each vote weapon skill and discharge, his numbers soar far ahead. Oh, and then he gives a bonus vote damage through vote sense, cause why not? How unnecessary are his advancements? Here's a table to compare the total team damage in a Lin, Nemesis, and Tian team. His A1 increases your max HP by up to 60%, increasing the value of his missing health and health scaling damage. It's worth about 16% damage. His A3 gives you 2 charges with every vote skill or discharge, as well as hyper body at full stacks. These charges let you spend a lot more time doing charge dodges and less time doing basic attacks. It's about 25% stronger than A0. A5 simply grants a 1% damage buff for each superconductor stack. This is essentially just 8% final damage, and totals the value at 136% of A0. A6 increases vote sense from 6% to 10%. However, in a comp with Lin, you only have one vote weapon, so you gain 4% damage from this, making A6 a grand total of 40% stronger than A0. Tian's matrices are a decent off-field passive matrix, and as such, they aren't suitable on Tian himself, and should be on one of the background weapons, either Nemesis or Lin. So, how does it compare to their 4-piece sets? Nemesis' 4-piece matrix is worth around 9% total damage at 0 star, and up to 17% at 3 star. Lin's 4-piece is worth considerably more. About 20% total damage at 0 star, and 34% at 3 star. While Nemesis is worth a lot less, remember that it buffs teammates vote attack as well, and the value is front loaded in the 2 piece. Tian's 4 piece is worth 18% at 0 star, or 25% at 3 star. 
is two piece is worth around six and a half percent at zero star. Tianlan's damage potential is completely broken. It's almost like they forgot to nerf half his numbers coming from Xi'an. But with great power comes great self-harm. With how much of your own HP you're burning with your skills and discharges, it's very hard to survive without a dedicated support and great dodging skills. It would be nice to have some iframes now, wouldn't it? Hopefully this video was helpful. Tianlan was by far the hardest character to crunch due to all the conditionals and I had to make a ton of extra logic to make the calculator handle it all properly. The numbers seem to line up fairly closely with several players' anecdotal experiences with switching out Samir or Curl for Tian. Hope you all have a comfortable Christmas and see you guys next time.